Appear weak when you are strong, and strong when you are weak. Sun Tzu, The Art of War. That's how we start the next video from Three Kingdoms, Total War, Zhang Zhue campaign, which is a Yellow Turban Rebellion, by the way, if you are interested. Either way, uh, let's see what we are doing. So last time we won the battle. I have a weird problem, by the way, on the screen. I can see the large green box to the to the right, which is part of uh, GeForce Experience uh, overlay, but I suppose you shouldn't see it, so I, hopefully that's not gonna interfere with, with what you can see, uh, just mentioning, either way. So, last time we won the battle, uh, which was pretty easy, now we are besieging Jong Shan. And as far as I remember, we are trying to starve it, it out. To also, heard. Jesus, this is so loud, those voices. Can I? I'm sorry. Can I just make it a bit uh, less louder? That's not music. That's the speech. Speech is down to 40%. Okay, looks like I cannot do anything about that. Fair enough. So, um, there is important factor, which is supplies military supplies as you can see uh, they are either growing or dropping in that case it says that they will they will increase next turn which is quite surprising especially that's the winter and we are besieging enemy territory but that's fine okay usually uh, they drop and if they if they get as low as possible uh, that means your army will suffer attrition which is by the way pretty pretty cool I think all total wars should should have such a such a mechanic involved uh, of course we can see that positive supply factors plus 20 hostile territory th and this is quite uh, quite weird to me so we get um, positive bonus uh, for for supplies while we are on hostile territory I would expect it to be the negative factor but it is positive okay 11 for characters 8 supplies looted after victories and minus 25 because of the climate and minus 1 casualties. So so that's it. Uh, we don't know, by the way, what to expect uh, from Liu Yu marching out of Zhongshan. So yeah, that's the question. Also in the south we have, who is that? Han Fu. A little, little detachment, not a big threat for us uh, for now. Uh, here's my brother, and there is other brother, Junk Bao. And here, Junk Liang. So they are supposed to protect myself. At least that's what I'm hoping for. Uh, if they can keep south safe, myself on flank, I can expand north. And the goal, the strategic goal uh, in general, is to capture whole north, starting from Yu Yu up to those uh, mountains in the north, uh, along the coastline, up here. If we can grab that terrain for us, that's gonna be our economic base and then we can expand uh, down south. So that's the first strategic goal. In terms of operational, operational goals, I think, well, of course, we are supposed to capture Zhongshan and right after that, it would be, it would be quite valuable to go for Zhongshan, oh, that's the same same region, so different city, which is Changshan. So that's that's the first goal. Next, we can try either to expand north to, well, this is unknown territory for, for now, but north here or over here, uh, hoping that the Han Fu will be secured by, by our brothers. We'll find out soon. As far as I remember, Reforms are ongoing, and the first reform is uh, Yellow Sky Apprentice, which will unlock our unit. The first unit, which is Redeemed Outlaws, also some bonus for starting rank for melee infantry recruits, and so on. That's what we know. Uh, also, there is the Zeal Indication. There, there will be slight drop. Why? Minus 7 Zeal Dicky from each Junk Brother. Okay. Junk Brother. I'm sorry. Plus 25% income from commerce, 25% replenishment, fair enough. Oh, Jesus, simmering sentiment. Minus 25 public order, those penalties are harsh. 
minus 10% food production. The good news is that the replenishment doesn't drop. Oh no, okay, it drops, but it's still positive at the end of the day, so... Okay, which means that we have to be very, very aggressive. Also, those two traits are interesting. Explosive fanatism. Fanaticism, sorry. Four favor uh, from zeal. Mm, fervor. Minus seven zeal decay from each junk brother. Okay, 25% income from commerce and 25 replenishment. Fair enough. Uh, okay. Looks like we can end turn. There's nothing else to do. Let's see what will happen. Okay, good. Jiang Bao captured one of the cities. Jiang Liang as well. That was uh, Wei. Wei, Wei, I think. Uh, faction succession. Chen Gui. Succeeded by Cheng Deng. Okay. Uh, I don't think it means anything for us. So if those settlements are captured, I think we should try also to speed up things here in Lunu because looks like they are not going to sally forth against us. So we may need to accept higher casualties. Let's see. Yeah, well, predicted casualties are still low. We are of course outnumbering them heavily, but either way, uh, the watchtowers will, will hit us, so... Hmm... Map view... Yeah, let's, let's give them a battle. There is no point wasting time besieging that settlement. Let's go to the battlefield. Usually the watchtowers are the main we problem. Any adversary, so long as we persist. Yes, sir. It shouldn't be very problematic, but well, let's see. The seed battles are not the most pleasant thing to do. Let us bring great change to China together. Okay. Will leave us what the hell? Weird. Okay, so here we have watchtowers, uh, plenty of them from each side. There's basically no safe. A safe entrance. Wow, there's even more watchtowers. I suppose that the safest entrance is over here. Uh, here, not really, because there are two watchtowers, well, even more watchtowers overlooking each other. So, multiple line lines of fire for the enemies. That's the, ba the best approach, I guess. And the, ra the range is gigantic, by the way. Look at that. Okay. The good news is that we can... Guerrilla deploy our units so we can deploy them over here. So we can simply charge that uh, that gate, that entrance. And I think we'll do so. We can also forward deploy one of the generals so he can boost their morale. I think this is the way to go. And behind them we'll put archers. So maybe we'll have a chance to provide some fire support if needed. Uh, and also our light troops. Right there. Oh, who is left? Our G defectors protecting the right flank of the archers, please. Uh, and two of our generals. One on the right, one on the left, which is my main character. And I think we are ready to go. No, we are not. We have still cavalry. But the cavalry... Cavalry could set someone else. What about grabbing... Cavalry with my with my general as a bait from the other side. Let's give it a try. Okay, let me pause quickly. Okay, that's the problem. They are defending it. So the J Infantry Captain is defending it. That's the anti-cavalry. Okay, so we should be able to easily break them. Look at them. They look gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Who is there? Okay, those are archers. Fine. And here we also have J Militia. That's that's okay. What about those forces? Oh, you buddy, you are supposed to get to the center. Either way, we can start moving forward, I guess. Let's check 
ranges of other watchtowers, everything is fine. So let's quickly unpose it. Uh, you, Mr. General, you can get in there. Oh, you also, buddy. With your infantry. Yeah, you can see first casualties. Look at that. This is really effective. I don't know. You can just follow your infantry, please. Yeah, this is... This is... Wow, this is... This is huge. Look at the amount of casualties already. So now we are supposed to break their line and quickly capture those buildings because they are really uh, inflicting high casualties. Can I check how many men I've already lost? Yeah, plenty, you can see. 28 in that unit already. This is huge. Come on, we need to break. Okay, yeah, we are we are molesting them quite nicely. Come on, let's push for them. Oh, that was a beautiful one. We need to push through, really. Uh, they are firing in my better troops now. I wouldn't mind to send archers forward so we can hit enemy archers now. Oh, and there are also enemy archers. Are they firing? No. Okay, enemies, enemies archers almost in range. Oh god, the amount of casualties, this is, this is huge. Okay, fire archers. Turn off skirmish mode and toggle guard mode. So we won't move. Let's spectate archers. Oh, come on, lose, please. Beautiful, the rate of fire is huge. Nice. It was quite a while. How many kills? 25, 22. Yeah, that's going really, really well. Okay, yeah, that's a 2 to 1 ratio, so they do not stand a chance, rather. But here we are losing a lot of men. We cannot really break through them. Oh, that's the problem. Can we send some reinforcements? Could try to outflank them. Okay, that unit is falling back already. Which is good. Okay, let's try to get in there. We can even send one of the generals. It's gonna be quicker. Let's go. That unit is not moving, that's fine. We need to break through. Okay, my archers are not trying to chase them, which is which is fine. Here we are having hard time. Jesus, how many casualties inflicted already? Those watchtowers are devastating for us. Our brother is under attack. To them. My God, it's good that we have high replenishment rate. We cannot penetrate their line. How is that possible that, that the anti-cavalry unit is able to hold the, the entrance so so nicely? Okay, the good news is that we are already capturing those two. We are sending some reinforcements. What's that? That's some kind of... Well, it looks like a barricade, but that's a weird shadow. I don't know how shadows work in that game, but it looks weird. Come on! Oh my god, we cannot we cannot really penetrate them. Come on guys, I really need your help. No 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 this way. Oh god. Okay those watchtowers are captured. We need to send you to fight with the archers, I guess. Okay, he decided to finally give up on that position. Oh, let me pose. I'm sure. We are trying to capture that gate now. Mm-hmm. This way. You, buddy. Oh my god. Yeah, this is this is pretty annoying. I'm not gonna lie. 
let me cap let me grab you guys uh you go here let's see what they will do and we still cannot penetrate the line what's going on this is terrible we are losing so many men here Our brother is under attack. can you fire yeah. them somehow and not hit your own troops okay you I think you are hitting them. Where's my cavalry? Come on. Can I destroy that barricade? I can. Good. Let's let's go for it. What's going on here? Okay, that unit is already already broken. Good. What about here? Uh, doesn't go well. There's a high threat from other units. Okay, fall back. Maybe let's go here. Let's capture that watchtower, please. And let's attack them. The center. Come on, penetrate through them. They're still losing men because of it. We need to capture it, guys. Come on. Look at the amount of kills inflicted on us. This is devastating. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we are capturing. Come on, guys. Quickly, quickly. I don't know whether we stand a chance against them. Okay, we have our cavalry ready. What we can do with them? Can... Wow. Okay, that's the problem of Total Wars. Absolutely. Can we set up here? Please. Thank you. What's going on? That unit is is broken and we cannot... Come on, push forward. Okay, that belongs to us. That's fine. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go over here, please. We'll try to outflank them. Uh, you, General, go over here. We need to capture those watchtowers, of course. Like always. What about those? Oh my god, those watchtowers are firing at me as well. Jesus Christ, there's so many of them. I could charge them now, if I would like to. Let's try. Let's see how it will play out. There's a little skirmish between those J Militia and my chosen of the eight mo immortals. Looks like they, they are really strong. Whoa, what was that? That guy is absolutely angry. Okay, my cavalry caught archers, good. Can we try to hit them? Hit those guys? Okay, that's a victory. Oh my goodness, I've lost general. Wow. I wouldn't mind to actually rematch it because this is devastating victory for us. It says de decisive victory. How much time that's gonna take us to replenish our army? And also the loss of the general. Okay, let's let's end battle though. Can we see the number of casualties? Not really, it doesn't say. Just just says the the amount of troops left. Our just deeds were blessed. 588. That's a lot. That's really, really a lot. Okay, we gained five zeal. At least something. Uh occupy and aid wounded. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Minus 20% population, 100 faction support, and plus 5 military uh, supplies. We must show them the way. Mission success. A strong foundation for the uprising is captured by Zhang Jue. Plus 5 zeal. Unlock missions to bolster the strength of rebellion. Uh, okay, that's completed. I'm expecting the new mission, but here we have the Mandate of Heaven. The corrupt Han dynasty has lost the Mandate of Heaven. The people of China now look to you to free them from the tyranny of the imperial court. Strike out against the Han, but be aware, 
They still have a number of warlords and armies under their command. They will not sit idly by whilst followers of heaven seek battle with their subjects. The yellow sky shall rise. Complete missions to bolster the yellow turbans before the Hun retaliate. Okay. Completing missions will strengthen both you and your allies. Fair enough. Another mission issued. The yellow turbans seize control of renowned toolmakers. The province of... Tai Yuan has both, of, both a supply of iron and the toolmakers to work it. If your people were to seize control of this region, you could create magnificent tools for your heavenly leader. Control the following three settlements either by direct ownership or through military allies. Tai Yuan, Jinyang. Oh god, that's, that's far away. Tai Yuan, Jingxin. Oh god. Tai Yuan, Jixiu. Gain powerful equipment for yellow turbans. Well, okay, and another mission issued, Jesus. The enemies of heaven are destroyed by Zhang Jue. Many pity warlords march new, eager to find fame and glory in battle. Such folly will be their undoing. Prove to all under the yellow sky that your cause is just and that none can oppose you. Defeat 20 armies or garrisons. Current total zero. Reward and success. This mission reward applies to all yellow turban factions. Zhang Jue defeats armies. Plus 20k population growth, faction wide, plus 50% income from family estates, faction wide, and plus 10% replenishment. Okay. Oh god, Jesus. Mission issued. Jang Jue secures the northern border. Okay. You will not be able to take on the Han warlords while army to your north continue to harass your followers. Destroy them so that you can turn your in undivided attention on the emperor. Destroy the following factions. Liu Yu. Hey G, hey G joins the rebellion, and Liu Liu Yu is over here. Oh my, oh my God! Another mission: the rebels seize the farmlands to feed the people. What was that? Oh, we have gained many followers, all of whom will be loyal till death. Now you must secure a supply of food for your people, lest the rebellion be defeated by hunger alone. Okay. Control the following free settlements either by direct ownership or through military allies. Zhongshan. Changshan. Where is that? Okay, here, yeah. Anping Yulu, that's the that's current one. And Wei Gongcheng. Okay, fair enough. I think that Wei Gongcheng will be captured by brothers. I hope so. Uh, let's close it. Wow, okay, so now... The missions we, we've received are supposed to target the provinces to the left, which are under Ding Yuan control. That's not according with my first, uh, first plan uh, to expand more north, but actually we are also supposed to eliminate Liu Yu, which is fine. So we can still expand, expand north so towards Dai, uh, Gao Liu, also, Yanmen Fanzi uh, and Zhongshan, Chang, Changshan, and that's that's the name of the of the city, Changshan, and and Zhongshan, that's the name of the province, I guess. Okay, replenishment is really really high, so we need around two turns until we fully fully replenish, I guess. We have around nine thousand income, uh, not income, but the, the the balance on our account. What we can do? What's that? Sympathizer meeting place. Okay. And public workshop. Uh, does it make sense to really keep it? Here we have also he. Okay, that's the healing. Hmm. Do I really need that fervor? I don't see. Well, the public order is uh, is cool boost. That's for sure. But also I need farming or so. Hmm. I can also develop the city, which which makes sense for 2000. Well, public workshop. And we certainly need food. I would rather demolish that for now. And I would like to build a uh, build workshop. Large town, two turns. Okay, so let's let's build it. 
And also let's finally start some re additional recruitment because we certainly need new troops. What we have available? That's the great, great, great question. Wow, peasant volunteers. World assault, expandable, 43 upkeep, 240 men in one, one company. Hmm. Doesn't sound like a great unit. Uh, Spearman gang, that looks better. That's the anti-cavalry, good against mounted. Uh, decent statistics, I would say. Yeah, I think we should we should think about it. And then we have also lightbow infantry, poachers and archer gang. I don't see much difference between two, except that. Whoa! I didn't want to recruit them, except that archer gang. A slightly better statistics, uh, higher higher uh, health, slightly higher armor, and also what's that? Ammunition also, yeah. So I guess. Oh, they have guerrilla deployment though. Which is which is abs Yeah, this is a cool, cool feature. That guerrilla deployment is really really nice, especially if other units can can deploy in that guerrilla mode. Uh, but either way, I would rather prefer to start with some Spearman gang. Maybe two of them. Also, I cannot recruit any cavalry so far. Which is... which is problematic. I have only one unit of cavalry. And of course my generals, right? But... but still. Uh, that reduces my mobility a lot. So I can I can guarantee enough firepower in terms of archers, but I cannot I cannot really invest in in cavalry, which is quite crucial to break enemy lines and eliminate, uh, for example, enemy archers as well. Hmm. That's the problem, and look at that, how many turns we, turns we still need to to develop simply that technology. And that gives me basic infantry, where I can find cavalry. Okay, here we have cavalry. Uh, what's that? Messengers of Heaven, Light Sword Cavalry. Oh god, oh god, yeah. Looks like my, my first focus will be totally on, on military reforms. Okay, but now we are recruiting those spear gang. It's sad that I cannot I cannot move units from general to general, right? Can I? Swap unit, disband unit, rename unit, no. Can I somehow move it by holding control, shift, alt? No, I cannot. Right click, no, control, right click, not at all. Okay. Uh, bu 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 bu. G defectors. Uh, you are. You are weaker than those guys. I think I would like to switch you for something else. Swap unit. Mm. That's that's a bit of a mix different units, if I'm honest. I don't like that. That that's how 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 it's done, really. So I feel like I could replace you for for what? For what additional archers? The thing is, do I want those poachers or archer archer gang? Mm, those poachers. Wait a second. Uh, you have better melee damage base, okay. What about in terms of fire or so? Is there any difference? Melee damage, armor piercing, okay, not really. The only bonus is that guerrilla deployment. I don't know whether it's necessary, really. I mean, sometimes it's cool to have it. Like in the case of siege, when you need to send your infantry forward. It's absolutely a good feature. But is it worth it, that additional ammunition? I think I prefer Archer Gang though. Let's let's replace them for, for Archer Gang. 
Still some money left. If we, I think we can still invest. So I wouldn't mind to get additional spear gank. Yeah. Uh, and now I have still four slots opened. Uh, I wouldn't mind to go for more archers though. Can I? Yeah, f at least for one, one unit per each general. If that makes any sense to, to split them this way. Just for now. Later, of course, we will we'll make a, a little shuffle of those units and organize it differently. But for now, it has to be like that. So around 4,000 left in my, in my treasury. Uh, 1,100 income. This is fair enough. Now we need to replenish all of our troops and set another target. I think I would like to go for that another province, another city or town, which is part of the region, the region Jongshan. If you can keep them both, that would be pretty, pretty cool. Okay, what do we have here, by the way? Those factors, fervor, settlement, forces, characters, total 39, change this turn, 20 current, 100 max. Fervor is the amount the population of this area believe in the yellow turban cause. Learn, learn to harness it, then Will it as you would blade. Okay, so that's another mechanic added. Wow. It's gonna be hard to manage all of that. Really. Okay, hopefully hopefully we'll make it, I don't know. But that's already look look quite complex and problematic. Either way, do we have any anything else to do? We can take a look at diplomacy. It looks like everyone hates us. Wow, what a shocker. Okay. Let's close it. Uh, 32 minutes on my timer already. If, I think we are go going to end soon. Uh, but first let's let's end turn and let's see what will happen. And after that we can we can end. Now so far everything is fine, but it can change rapidly. Especially that we are enveloped by Multiple enemies. Jiang Bao requested Jiang Liang join the war. Consequential deals. War declared between Jiang Liang and... Who is that? Han Fu. Oh, Jiang Bao is our brother, right? No. A cunning scheme. Bad news. One of your messengers kneels before you, trembling while handing over a, m a massive. My lord, we are the victims of a most deceitful plot. We have no idea who enacted this scheme against us. My apologies. Shamed by the intelligence, the messenger quickly leaves your presence. This embarrassment cannot be ignored. The perpetrator of this deed must be found and punished. Zhongshang Lunu, the wolf guardian of Chickness. Minus 100 reserves, local commandery. And that's gonna last for two turns. How cool to start the second turn or third turn of that, of that campaign. Oh, and that's gonna last for four, four turns. My goodness. And there's a minus 20 public order penalty. Are you joking? Oh, this is a this is a crap. Okay, we have empty slot. We are going to build uh, or upgrade to large town. And after that, we will go for farming since we really need to produce food. This is essential for every economy especially during war the food is everything i mean military supplies are important but you have to feed your people and your army you cannot win war without food please remember that oh we have negative income how nice it is, the way is the oh and that's because we've what demolished the building that's why that hurts me a little what about treasury we could increase uh no, we cannot. A higher faction rank is required to influence taxation. Taxation. Okay. Yeah, so we need to expand our territory very soon. Can we march... March off next turn? I think we can. The replenishment is good. What's the bonus for garrison? 19. Okay, that's gonna... That's gonna affect our... Public order here. But it is, it is shared with... Uh, that province here, Changshan. So this is fine. What about my brothers? What are they doing? 
Okay, you, buddy, you are going for uh, Gong, Gong Cheng under Wei. Not, not Wei. Uh, that's the Han Empire. Wei is the region. Okay. Mm -hmm. Also, there is the left flank opened. Yang Zhang. I love those Chinese words, absolutely. Yeah, we need to make a move soon. Just one turn. That's that's maximum amount of time we can wait, and we need to march uh, for for another for another uh, province. But it's already 36 minutes. Uh, I think we are going to end since it's quite late here. Uh, I'm very sorry. So today a bit a bit shorter video. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully see you in the next one, where we will continue our interesting journey as a yellow turban uh, rebellion, and we will see for how long it will last. So once again, thank you and see you next time. Goodbye.